it's 2024 and you're wanting to build the best Fortnite competitive gaming PC. Well, on a budget, of course. So let's set our budget to 1100 US dollars because that's a sweet spot. And as always, with all our build guides here in Overseer PC, we follow the same build criteria, which include all parts are brand new, there will be no used parts in this build, and all parts are available in Amazon at the time of recording. Okay, let's go. If you're into Fortnite competitive gaming, you will know that you will need to game on lower settings or performance modes to reach those maximum FPS. And because of this, you will be heavily reliant on the processor. So we'll need to have a really powerful processor if we want to boost those frames. And because of that, we are picking the Ryzen 7 7800X3D, which is priced at $389. This CPU is AMD's gaming king. It only has 8 cores but has a whopping 96 megabytes of L3 cache and 5 gigahertz boost clocks. This is an amazing processor and is the processor of choice for most power gamers who want to take it easy. Like plug this thing in and you're done. No more spending extra time and effort tuning to get those high performance. The Ryzen 7800X3D has a TDP of 120 watts and doesn't come with a cooler so we'll need to put something in here. And our cooler of choice is a tried and tested Thermalrite Peerless Assassin. This is one of the best tower coolers out there currently priced at $32 and it comes with 6 heat pipes. Dual tower heat sinks with dual fans and look at that you even have ARGB fans just slap this thing into our Ryzen 7800 X3D Bruh. and it will keep it cool and pumping those frames no need to go for some expensive all-in-one cooler boys when you can get this one at a cheaper price for our motherboard we just want a simple AM5 motherboard which is everything we need for this platform and what we've selected is the Gigabyte B650M D3 HP motherboard. It's a pretty simple AM5 board. It comes with the B650 chipset, which means that we can boost our base clocks using precision boost overdrive if we tune it in the BIOS. The Gigabyte B650 MD3 HP comes with a heatsink on its VRM and NVMe, so that helps with the thermals. It has a 5 plus 2 plus 2 digital VRM design. Not the best, obviously, but it's workable. It comes with Two PCIe 4.0 NVMe slots for RAM slots. It also comes with Gigabyte's Easy Latch feature, which is a godsend when you're swapping out GPUs. And of course, we can't forget about our RGB. It's got two ARGB ports, which is located here and here. The best part is that this board only comes at 110 US dollars. Such amazing value. Now, previously, we didn't really recommend AM5 platform, but today we are recommending this platform because we believe that AM5 has already matured. One other good thing about this platform is that AMD has promised to support this all the way up to 2025, which means if there's a better processor by then, it'll be an easy swap for us. And for our memory, we'll need some DDR5 kits with our AM5 platform. And what we pick is the Team Group T-Grade Expert Overclocking DDR5 kit. This one comes with a 32GB kit of 6000MHz speeds. Really good timings at CL30, 36, 36, 76. And because this is Team Group's Expert Series, these are known to be very stable. So yeah, let's just go into the BIOS, enable Expo for this one, boys, and you'll be sweet. It comes with a very minimalistic look and is priced at $103, which is actually a good deal. It's sleek and stable, so why not, right? And for our storage, we're just going straight up for a one terabyte capacity. And what we've selected is the Solidum P41 Plus one terabyte NVMe. This is a Gen 4 NVMe and comes with decent speeds at 4125 megabytes per second read speeds and 2150 megabytes per second write speeds. Obviously, not the fastest speeds out there for Gen 4 NVMe, but it's decent enough for competitive Fortnite endurance rating of the p41 plus is 400 terabytes written and comes with five years warranty the p41 plus is currently on sale and is priced at 60 bucks which is good value and for those unfamiliar with this brand, Solidum is the brand which was formed from Intel's old NAND and SSD division when it was sold off to one of the biggest memory chip makers, SK Hynix. So yes, 
and before we proceed if you guys are planning to build a pc over the next few months or uncertain on which parts to get we do these build guides every month on different price points so hit that subscribe button if you want to be up to speed with everything on all the components and the pc parts compatibility all that stuff we do all the research for you so you will save a lot of time from googling anyway let's go back to for the graphics card, we don't really need a powerful GPU for competitive Fortnite gaming, but we do need something that's decent enough to push those frames. So what we've selected is the MSI RTX 4060 Ventus 2X. This card is pretty compact. It comes with dual fans, but this is enough. The RTX 4060 doesn't really demand a lot of power and isn't really hot as compared to the other cards out there. This is probably the most efficient 40 series card of the bunch and it only costs $295. When we are competitively gaming in Fortnite, on most cases we will be limited by our CPU but even though we are CPU bottleneck, picking the right card still matters. On our second channel, we've recently tested the RTX 3060. 12 gigabyte card against the RTX 4060 head to head on Fortnite and you can see that there is a difference in there which favors the latest Nvidia architecture. So this is why we're sticking with the RTX 4060. And let's address the elephant in the room because I'm pretty sure someone will mention this but always your PC this only has 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Yes it only has 8 gigabytes of VRAM and that is plenty if you're competitively gaming. Sure, if you want to go all out epic settings with ray tracing, it wouldn't be enough, but we're not here to play that game. We're here to frag, which means we're here to be competitive and 8 gigabytes of VRAM is enough. And because our system is not that power demanding, we'll put a power supply that will get the job done. And in this case, we'll just go for the Zigotip GN650W power supply. It comes with 650 watts output, 80 plus gold power efficiency rating. And although it's non-modular, it does come with black flat cables, which will still make it look neat and tidy. The Zigotip GN650W has all the necessary power predictions and comes with five years warranty. And it is currently discounted and is price at $55 and this is a pretty decent power supply and offers really good value so definitely put this one in the cat boys. For the case what we've selected is the Cougar Archon 2 Mesh RGB case and this one's an easy pick. The Archon 2 is priced at $58. It is a black case with a mesh front, tempered glass on the side but comes with three ARGB fans for free. That alone will make this a really good deal. In terms of build quality, this one's pretty decent. It has space for fans up top or an AIO up to 240 millimeters if you wanted to upgrade to that one. I guess the only limitation that I can see with this product is that it can only accommodate a maximum GPU length of 315 millimeters, which is okay it's not a problem for our build because our msi rtx 4060 is only at 199 millimeters in terms of length overall we have a pretty decent build here we have the ryzen 7800 x3d a thermal right tower cooler the gigabyte p650 motherboard 32 gigabytes of ddr5 6000 megahertz ram one terabyte mvme with five years warranty the compact msi rtx 4060 650 watts of power supply a cougar mesh case this totals to $1,101.93. That's an amazing deal for an ultra competitive Fortnite gaming PC. So if you're watching this one right now, suggest for you guys to put these things into your cart before they run out of stocks. Links are in the description. Speaking of which, if you're interested on the RTX 4060's performance against the older RTX 3060 in competitive gaming, including Fortnite's different APIs, DX11, DX12, and performance mode we actually did a recent video at our second channel so check that one out and we'll see you guys over there